Hello, Identity 5 gamers. The release of The Shadow, also known as Ivy, is right around the corner for us. But in the test servers, people have been playing with Ivy and she has been doing really well, apparently. Uh, I haven't taken a look at any of the footage, but um, from the trailer alone, I thought Ivy was going to be strong, but I didn't think that she was going to dethrone Opera. But just now, my buddy Zeus IDV sent me a video of Ivy in the test server, and uh, apparently she does really, really well against good meta comps. And that kind of scares me since Opera is, well, unanimously, for those who don't know, the best hunter in the game. So if Ivy dethrones her, that's gonna make things even more hard uh, for especially bad players like myself. The thing is she's also getting buffed. Yup, she's getting a buff. It's not anything major, but she's getting a buff for some reason. I don't know why they're starting to buff her before she comes out, but you know, this is fine, man. No, this is fine. Oh boy. All right. Well, with that said, let's take a look at Ivy. All right. This comes from a uh, Japanese uh, test server account. Um, and the, the, the thing is, Ivy is going up against all Hydra players. All these players here, they are very experienced in um, IDV. They know what they're doing. Uh, and that's all I really know. They're, they're all Hydra players. That's all you really need to know. Anyway, um, we're gonna see what Ivy can uh, can cook up here. So if you haven't seen her trailer, I did do a video on that, but you can also find it um, on the uh, IDV Twitter account or plenty of other accounts, I imagine. Um, so yeah, if you wanna take a look at the trailer before you wanna watch this video, definitely make sure to do that so you can kind of see what her abilities are. But basically, uh, she can kind of separate herself into her ghost form. Her ghost form can possess people. She can uh, see where they are while they're possessed and also where their camera's looking at. If you look back towards Ivy, uh, she's also uh, going to pretty much accumulate this thing called corruption. And once you are at 100 corruption, you basically walk back towards her. Um, and then once she uh, once she reaches, I know, once she possesses somebody, a rock is left behind and uh, she can teleport to that rock just straight up. So right from the start, it looks like they're opting to actually just send out the ghost, which by the way, as you can see, moves extremely fast. This is extremely fast. This is about twice the hunter's speed just off of a random judgment here. And um, yeah, it looks like the batter already had an idea. He looks like he's already getting scared. And while he's possessed, oh, she can just teleport right to him. And he's almost at um, 70, he's at 75 corruption. That's terrifying. Yep, there's the scare. And um, yep, as you can see, if he looks back towards her, that was actually really good. Okay, looking back towards her for just a little bit, and uh, he actually gets scared and is now forced to take a hit. Um, yeah, that's already really good. That is already really, really freaking good. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> this this seems really scary, dude. This, this thing is really scary. Uh, it does seem that elevation... Oh, what the... Okay, so you can move her and the ghost at the same time. Is that what I just... Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. All right, um... Yeah, so as you can see, there's a little countdown on the little thingy over there. Now they can start breaking that rock if they so want to. Um, my goodness, dude. This this seems really scary. I can't even lie. So we're going to probably scare the batter here. Yep, that's the scare. That's the scare. And then possession. Now he's forced to walk back towards Ivy. She teleports right to him. And boom, dead. Uh, yeah, that seems really powerful. That seems really powerful. The fact that once you're possessed, she basically teleports right to you. So, like... I thought she didn't have a speed boost, but it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't even matter, dude. So it looks like she can keep walking in like some a, like a straight line or something while she's, bro, bro. This actually seems really powerful. Yep, yep. Possesses the mercenary, and the thing is now there's a. Oh my gosh, dude. The possession is like so active. So like, what's the counterplay? <laughs> bro, this is actually really scary. Oh my gosh, this is scary. And if you, by the way, if you step in the rocks, you also accumulate corruption. So you literally can't look back at her. Yep, batter's being forced to walk towards her. He tries to flywheel, uh, unfortunately is not able to, and walks right past her, not that it really matters. Okay, bro, I thought, okay, they seriously, what, what they need to do right now is increase all her cooldowns by like two, because what is this? I haven't even, it feels like I'm looking at her skills unless she hasn't even, why are you even bothering basementing? There's not even a point. Oh my gosh. Okay, this this hunter seems really strong. This seems really strong. Because now she sets out her ghost. You can possess somebody on the chair. Is that what I just saw? So she can literally warp back into basement. Um. Yup. Yeah, okay, scares the mercenary. Is trying to body block him, body block him. 
Not that it really matters. Yep, the ghost has... She scares him. Bro, what? So she, she literally cancels all skills. There's the farm. My goodness, dude. Mercenary's coming. Oh my gosh, he's forced to come back. Oh my gosh. Dude, how are you supposed to rescue against her safely? What? I mean, obviously, this is still the start and counterplay will be discovered. But dude, this seems really terrifying. I can't even lie. This seems so scary. And now she just basements again. Okay, so basically, if you get basement against her, just sell. Just sell, bro. And look, look at that. All the, all the little rocks, dude. All the rocks are still up. So she can just teleport wherever she wants. Yeah, gonna opt to do something. I don't really know what that is specifically. Um, my goodness. I get, oh, she just sets up a second teleport. So she gets drop down hit on a meal, and he tries to go for the rescue. He messes up his hook and actually flywheels, but she blinks and gets a meal down. And um, yeah, I mean, I would like to see some footage without Basin, but yeah, she seems she seems like she's uh, literally good at everything. Uh, <laughs> There's also very like little experimentation, by the way. Very little experimentation. So uh, where are her cooldowns? Where are her cooldowns? Does she have cooldowns? It feels like she doesn't have cooldowns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, how, you can, you'll can you never be able to hide against her. You'll never be able to hide against her because she has the ghosts. There's just no way. And the second you get possessed, boom, that's it. So how do you win? So how do you win? So literally, how do you win? They made it to endgame, but like... How are you supposed to win? Especially if this freaking thing has wormhole? Bro. Bro. <laughs> I think I was wrong about Ivy. I didn't think she'd be that bad because I thought they'd give her, you know, cooldowns that make sense. But I'm looking at it. It looks like she has no cooldowns. Like, where are the cooldowns? I know I know her first presence, all it does is reduce her cooldowns. So it's like, bruh. She starts with, like, all her abilities. Does she gain any? Ab I forget what she gains at first or full presence, bro. Oh my gosh, so it looks like at the very start, you don't even have to chase it. So like, the, by the way, by the way, um, fun fact, they can't see this. They, they can only see it when you scare them. So now, boom, there she is. That's it. So it looks like the strategy is um, the second she uh, possesses you, you gotta go to like the nearest pallet or window or else she's you're just gonna give her a free hit basically. Um, bro, <laughs> what is that? What actually is that? Where's the cooldown? Where's the actual cooldown? Like... Okay, there's... Okay, haha. What?! No, that shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. So, like... Bro, it literally... Stuns don't matter. Stuns just don't matter. She literally was looking at it and she just like, Eh, eh, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just swap to my freaking ghost. Bro, this is literally a 2v4. This is actually just a 2v4. This is duo hunters, but like they need eight p This is actually just a 2v4. Bro, okay, maybe it's more like a 1.5 versus four, but even then, you can say the same thing with Dream Witch, but like when Dream, <laughs> like with Dream Witch, there's like cooldowns and leeches, like there's limited use. This ghost can go anywhere. And by the way, Dream Witch can't teleport across the map whenever she feels like it. This is, I thought she, okay, when I saw this character, I literally thought she was going to be like Dream Witch. I was like, ah, oh, she can't be that bad, or she can't be that powerful. She just looks like, she just looks like a slightly more powerful Dream Witch, right? By the way, this is basement again. Um, so how do you win? And now she's just down there. She's literally just down there. So wh what's the counterplay? What's the counterplay? What's, what's her teleport freaking cooldown? Bro. Bro, what? What is this? Now she just sends out ghosts. Because why chase when you can just ghost and then teleport? Uh-huh. Scaring the patient. Oh, she messed up. So there's just no cool... So she just has no cooldown on her teleport. Is that what you're telling me? So she can be anywhere she wants at any time. That's what you're telling me. Why is there no cooldown on her teleport? Why is there no cooldown on her teleport? I thought I thought there'd be like at least like Nightmare, by the way guys, Nightmare ha can teleport when he throws out a crow. 50 second cooldown, but apparently this character, no, nah, let's just no, nah, she can just teleport wherever. Wherever she wants, man. No cooldowns for some reason. Where are her cooldowns? 
literally wear her what? Where are her cooldowns? Bro. <laughs> Bro. How do you lose? I thought they'd give her cooldowns, but she just... She literally just doesn't have cooldowns. She literally doesn't have cooldowns. There's so many freaking rocks. Bro. Okay, so... Now she just warps down there? Bro! Where are your cooled... I, like, literally how? Literally how? How do you beat this? How do you beat this? Okay, these are, like, pros. But, like... Gee, I love being down... Oh, man! Remember me being in basement? Remember that? Remember when I was in basement? How do you win? Literally, how do you win? Why does she have no cooldowns? Why is her scare cooldown 10 seconds? They need to like, they need to nerf this character now. Like, why? it doesn't matter if you're slow, if you can just teleport with no cooldowns forever. Why are there no cooldowns? Well, I think it's pretty safe to say after that footage that we just witnessed that, um, yeah, Opera Singer might be getting dethroned. They're gonna have to adjust that character like right now because that's way too OP. Yeah. What's up, Zeus? Hello, buddy, old pal of mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk about uh, Ivy, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Ivy, right? Uh huh. She's fun and balanced. My main question yeah. is, where are the cooldowns? <laughs> like, <laughs> so her only cooldowns come from the Yith possession and the tablet. Those are her only cooldowns. She can teleport to a tablet once every three seconds from what I saw from gameplay. Then the tablets individually have their own cooldowns of 45 seconds when you teleport to them. Bruh. Then the Yith has a possession cooldown of 40 seconds, which then changes to 30 seconds when she gets more presence, when she gets her first presence ability. Yeah. That I like how it's just like, hey, the hunter with no cooldowns. What should we give her for her first presence? <laughs> Let's just reduce her cooldowns, you know? Let's just have her start with all her abilities. And just... Yeah, she can spawn the tablets. She can <laughs> teleport to the tablets. Like, she she can just do it all. Just straight from the beginning of the match. Like, just because. Bro, I thought when I first saw this hunter, I was like, oh, they're surely going to give her like, you know, you know, 10, 15 second cooldown. Maybe right, even right. I was like, they're going to give her cooldowns. This is just I was like looking. I was like, OK, this is probably going to be like a slightly better dream, Witch, but Opera's still on top. And now I'm just like, OK, so where's the counterplay? <laughs> no, actually, where is the counterplay? Pearl was discussing cheerleader and I'm just like, OK, so now what happens when you're possessed with the Yith and she can see you? By the way, apparently. Uh, she can see your pings when you're possessed or something. Oh, yeah, she when she's when you're possessed She sees your camera angle and your pings and she can see not just your pings as well She can see the entire team's pings Wait, it's the I thought it was just one person. She sees the entire one Nope, there was another gameplay that I saw in which she sees the entirety of the team's pings Nah, so you're telling me like she'll just know what ciphers is like prime and what the progress are Yup, she can in theory, yup. And no, if you say, that. stay oh. put, I'm coming, she knows where you're coming from. Yeah, exactly. By the way, yeah, you'll never want to escape this character. You'll never dungeon escape this character. Because, like, if it's like, oh, man, I'll just hide it out. Yeah, good luck, unless you're an explorer. Yep. <laughs> she just Great. flies around with her ghost until she finds you. Bro. The worst part, the worst part about the ghost is the fact that when you're possessed, you have no way to get rid of it yourself. It's literally, like... It's just until it dissipates in itself, or you go down. That's the only way to get rid of the Ith. There's no way to, like, remove it <laughs> manually. Oh my gosh. And, uh, just for an even greater, uh, cherry on top. The Ith, we all know it's invisible, right? So, when that thing is on you, um, you saw, you already saw in the, in the JP gameplay, right? How they did it. They just walk up in front of the survivor after looking at the camera angle and then boom, 340 corrosion. Then she possesses you. Then when she possesses you, a tablet spawns. She teleports to the tablet. And because you're inside of the tablet's range, you gain more corrosion because you gain corrosion when you enter a tablet. 
So that means you immediately start off every single kite with 60 plus corrosion guaranteed. And then once she scares you, boom, that's it, free hit. Exactly. Bro. So yeah, Nettie's really knew how to, um, you know, make this hunter balanced and fair and, you know. By the way, something I also noticed, rotation is impossible. You can't rotate. You can't rotate. You can't rotate. <laughs> no. Rotation you, is gone. If you, if you get caught rotating, she possesses you and that's it. Yep. Because then if you're stuck, you're in a bad area. Yeah. If you get caught rotating, like it's actually clipped for you. You can't rotate against her. Leo's memory, for example. Let's say you are um like you spawn you you're at like um in between Christmas tree and Godkite or something, and then you spawn at like right close to Godkite and you have to transition over towards um Christmas tree. She that you, you can't like that's it. You can't make that. <laughs> like you're gonna yeah. get spawned in on immediately <laughs> with 60 corrosion. Yith is gonna pull up, stun you one, uh, scare you, then she's gonna pull up and scare you. You basically start every game with half health if you're first chase. You basically just have to accept the fact that you you have to just like you're you're yeah, at, you're you, at half health you, from the start. You you pretty much are just you pretty much are just half health from the start because of the fact that you just start off with sixty corrosion. <laughs> and remember, you build up corrosion by being near her. I mean, not when she's when you make content when you look at her, which means also you can't look behind you. And what does that mean? She can mind game the absolute living hell out of anything she wants because she knows that you can't look behind her. <laughs> they 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 gave her like wait how how many abilities is like six? She has like six seven abilities. <laughs> Remember that thing called harassment that you want that you thought you could do? Guess what harassment does? Make you look at her. So yeah. what ends up happening? <laughs> you build up corrosion. Okay, so like literally. Oh, lawyer, lawyer is also useless. The map, no point. <laughs> yep, no point of the map when the Yith is there. Like. Uh, okay, so like I'm look, I'm thinking like what survivors are good against her? Nothing. We can uh, I'll stream, I'll stream a tier list. I'll, I'll stream like a uh, thing of like uh, all the survivors. Oh yeah, she counters officer by the way as well. Yeah, no, that that makes sense. Yep. When There's only one person who can save us now, Puppeteer. <laughs> Yo. Puppeteer won't start at half health. They'll start at a quarter health. Wait, what if you? I wonder if you go into the puppet and then you get possessed and whatnot. Yeah, do you just walk towards her as Lewis then? I I feel like you would. It would make sense if you would, but I guess the only thing is again, the hunter literally has no incentive to hit you. I'm wondering if you can flywheel corrosion. Do you think you'd be able to do that? You probably can, but it would. I I don't know how I would feel about that. Like with Nyad moisture like you can fly with the moisture but the next one will immediately start building up yeah so uh guys uh viewers watching this yeah uh my nice little cameo yeah ivy's broken i was right <laughs> i i want my yep. uh, points called it yeah points <laughs> they got they they're yeah. better do something with those cooldowns in the test server i mean she's in the test server for a reason right now but like she, she's in they surely will have to know that like like what are what are like little baby like little baby worker bees gonna do against this? I mean they don't look behind them anyway, but like still they're gonna be like, huh, what's happening? In and they'll in quit the servers, game immediately. Already, in test server they buffed her, remember bro? They thought she was weak. In test server they buffed her. Stupid dude. They need to like just do something about those cooldowns, I swear. Alright, so I think we can start by putting literally every decoder in explore okay, besides explorer at the bottom, surely. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll hold on. Let me just real quick uh, <laughs> delete, bro. That's just Ivy, Ivy's food. <laughs> That's what you just call it. Just Ivy say. food. <laughs> uh. Ivy food. <laughs> Ivy snack. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Appetizer. Oh my gosh. I spelled it wrong, but it's okay. It works. It works. We know what you're trying to say. Ivy snack. <laughs> Uh, starvation. <laughs> oh gosh, yep. there we go. All right, well, um, um, every single decoder, um, except for explorer. Yeah, gets put literally. Over here. Oh, lawyer, you're used. You're back to like B tier. Oh, mind's boy. eye, you just get F. You get like yeah, Z, no, mind's eye is like the absolute Z. bottom. You, uh, wait, you, mechanic, you like mechanic with the bot. Eh? Okay, with the bot. The okay. Maybe with the bot it can cook because the bot can like take care of what she can. So maybe Honestly, I'd you put know, mechanic and appetizer. Uh, appetizer. Yeah. Appetizer. Yeah. Appetizer, yeah. The, the bot actually would carry that hardcore. Prisoner, prisoner yeah, prisoner garbage. Worthless. 
uh, explorer, I'd also put him in appetizer. Yeah, at least he can like potentially hide because you'd have to find him. So if he like hides from the start, like it's a Joseph match, then maybe you could hide from it. But yeah, it wouldn't be easy because she can find you within like the first few seconds, especially if she spawns like right next to you. You'll have to treat Yoke. that like a Joseph match. Oh, Doc, put her in Ivy food. Oh, a hundred percent, yeah. Ooh, wait, Doc, high key. Ivy. What about Gardner? Because she could set up. What if she sets up bubble and then she gets corroded? Obviously, the timing would be strict, but like. For three. Oh, actually, wait, no, that could cook. You get you get bubble for five seconds. You only get forced to walk for three. So that's. I think I think bubble is actually six seconds. So you have six seconds. You'll walk. Six so half oh. of it, yeah. Okay. So half of it, you still have three seconds of bubble. I'm gonna put her in Ivy snack then. Yeah. Ivy snack. Okay, Gardener cook cook. Thief. Ooh, wait. Thief is a that's thief. Actually, actually yeah, because disable that, the. Ab that's actually funny. This, uh, this, I think it just matters on whether they count as her corrosion. Her corrosion, it's an ability in itself, so that means it has to cancel out with the flashlight. Yeah. So if he looks back, maybe Thief is the only character that can actually look back towards her safely, <laughs> just because of the flashlight. Yeah. I don't know. It's a fifty-fifty though. It is. I think we put him in snack for now. Snack. And until we, we know. Later. Until we know. He could. He could actually cook. He could. Lucky guy. I think I put him in appetizer, maybe just because he can spawn items that could help him. He can get flashlight, right? And book. He can get flashlight. He can get book. Yeah. Forward can run away. Play, I guess. He's he can't a, really harass, appetizer. but he can run away. Yeah. Magician. Ooh, magician, I think will be really good, actually. Actually, yeah. Yeah. No mage. Mage could be good. Mage, 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 I think is t Ivy Snack still, though. Yeah. But I think Mage could actually be really good. Uh, Merc, I mean, I I guess, like, right? Like, you know, he has elbow pads, but when it, like, that's about it. Yeah. And this, and this is just considering kiting, like, for the rescuers, like, not even talking about <laughs> rescuing. <laughs> this is just kiting. Bro, okay, Cord, so does Gun just, like, get cancelled when she scares you? Like, is that it? That's the thing, because if she shoots Gun, she can just scare mid-animation and, like, cancel it, so I don't know. But the thing is that it doesn't use it, because we saw with the batter example in the trailer, that, like, the batter, when he balled, when he was in the animation of holding it or something, like, it didn't get used. Actually, no, I think it might. I think it if might she use if if she loses gun while she gets scared, she's garbage. But if she yeah, keeps gun and gets scared, then she's then, probably then snack like then at least. least. I put it like low yeah. snack at least, because at least you can get away from her and then. Okay, that that's fair. I'll put her. I'll put her low snack. But if it if the gun gets used to, she's oh you know she's garbage. Yeah, garbage. <laughs> she's just food. Priestess. Priestess, I think, just goes to drink. Actually, just because portals i guess yeah i mean i guess support oh like long, long portal. i wonder how the ghost would work with the long portal i guess we'll have to test that out because i think i i put i put priestess and drink simply because for priestess you kind of don't need to look behind you because you more often than not want to look in front of you for when you want to make good portal placements anyway yeah oh high high key perfumer might actually not be terrible Cause you literally, you, what you could do is perfume, look at her on purpose, and then like. Oh, and then after that, just be like, okay, yeah, yeah, hit me, or you perfume back. Right. She could be okay. She could be in snack at least, like at at bare minimum. Yeah, I'll definitely put her in snack because manipulation. Dancer. Dancer's barely getting appetizer. Yeah. And I'm just saying that because slow boxes would carry her if she's looping. Like if Dancer's looping her with how slow Ivy moves, like that's sh that's sh be crazy. I just imagine what if you use fast box and you walk towards her even faster. <laughs> oh my god! More reason to not use fast box anymore, ladies and gents. More reason. Oh, that'd be so funny. Uh, cowboy. I think cowboy gets snacked just because of lasso distance, and that's about it. Yeah. Seer. Oh, uh, Seer food. Seer's oh, food. Oh no, I think he's at least appetizer, surely, because like the hit block. You're if you if you he can get a free like use of corrosion for his teammates. He can send them an owl, so it like at least prevents one hit. I guess. I think it's but appetizer. Entire... The thing is, at least because the thing is like appetizer. At least they can do something barely. The bottom is okay. like they can't do anything. The bottom is oh, literally okay, just like okay. they literally are just garbage. They can't do anything. Appetizer is like they have one or two things they that they could possibly one minimal do. Minimal thing. Yeah. Just sucks uh, that his entire ability gets countered. <laughs> yep. Embalmer's probably in drink, surely. Because at least he's just, he's just Embalmer, 
right? Oh, yeah, he's just in Bomber. He just kites, he doesn't care, and then if he dies, he just goes away anyway. Yeah, although the only thing is, like, she could just teleport back to him wherever he is. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if you... Because it looks like you can, like, possess the people on the chair, right? Is that how it works, or...? I believe you can. So uh, if he go, if he embalms himself and he's possessed, does she just teleport to him? <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! I guess it sets so the tablet down at, at the chair. So prospector. Uh, he could throw a magnet and like force her away. But the thing is, she could also just like distance herself and time it properly to hit and take away attack recovery. Cancel attack. Yeah, exactly. I kind of want to put him in food. Because it's like, if it's a competent one, like, they'll know how to do that. Yep. Enchantry at food. Yeah, she's she's food. Like, she, 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 she just gets eaten. Sorry, sorry, Patty. Wildling, <laughs> Wildling gets snacked just because Boris. Yeah, just, so yeah, just because, yeah, oh, especially because they're buffy. Yo, I swear they buffed him just for Ivy, just bro. Just Ivy, bro. <laughs> Wildling is actually about to be so meta right now. Oh, gosh. Uh, Acrobat, Acrobat gets snack as well. Literally, Fireball, Mudball, slow down, take yeah, away Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Proving why he's the best officer, uh, officer gets, uh... Appetizer, yeah. Officer gets appetizer, but that's if the Yif can't get him. Other, if the Yif gets him, he's food, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The meta is changing, bro, <laughs> again. I'm, I'm not ready for another meta shift, bro. This one hasn't even been a year. Barmaid, unironically, Barmaid, I think Barmaid is like high snack to even drink. Like, actually. Really? You think so? She does. She works like Priestess. Doesn't need to look behind her for the most part. And the best part about it is that she can force a hit so that way she can bottle safely in certain cases. If she has bottle, she doesn't need to look behind her. It's literally just kite until you're bottle. Okay. And, she, and Barmaid can play that. So it makes the hunter more antsy than anything, which is why I think she can. Yeah, actually... that's, you know what? That's, that's fair. I see it now. I see it now. Yeah, there's Post no man. way. There's no way she cancels bottle. Like, yo, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so dumb, oh, bro. Drinking? Oh, you're mid drink. She just smacks the bottle out your head. Postman has what? What does Wick do? Uh, Nothing. Uh, <laughs> wow, you slowed me down. Crazy. You got to look at me to do that though. Gravekeeper, drink, shovel, and that's it. My argument is. Yeah, like you get you hop in shovel the second you get high corrosion, then. And it just like you can just force it to dissipate and that's it. Yeah. Ento? Um low key, I think she can be snack. You think so? I mean you could put up bees to slow her down, but then I think I, I put Ento here because again she just follows like barmaid priestess logic. She doesn't need to look behind her. If looking behind her helps her kite and mind game better with how good her base kiting already is, but it's not a necessity. That's true. And her diva honestly doesn't matter because usually you can see her through walls, but like Ivy will see you anyway, so. Exactly. I, I want to put Ento and Snack, paint her food. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, when when she, I saw that in that footage, when she was looking at the painter painting, she was like, yeah, let me just let me just swap to my ghost. While I'm stuck here, let me just swap to my ghost because I just can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you stun me? Oh, don't worry. I'll just use the yes. Oh, yeah, the yes, please, bro. Keep so me. dumb. Keep in mind, the main body can move just like a Dream Witch Bleed, by the way. Yeah, I, I saw it. Like, you can move both at the same time. It's so crazy. It's really idiotic. Batter. Oh, batter food. You gotta look at her to use your ball. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta look at it. Urchant, I think I think she gets low. Uh, she gets, like, low. I think, yeah, that's... Honestly, appetizer. that's, like, completely map-dependent. It's like hard, not dependent. Like if she gets lakeside, she can probably still do her funny little loops because at least she's not. Again, it's not not you're not looking at the hunters. Psychologist, I think it's appetizer. Same, it's just the same logic with fear. Like yeah, patient patient gets like high snack. Hook is broken. Yeah, he at least can get, get distance. Novelist, oh my boy. You're oh, cool. oh, garbage, bro. Boy, he gets he gets one metaphor. Basically, it's one metaphor per game. It's one metaphor <laughs> per game, and that's it. You got to use that carefully that's so bad oh man little girl would you be able to page yourself out of the fucking, like corrosion i wouldn't think nah, so, right? no th surely if that happens though they just wait because it's three seconds little girl page you drop it and it like comes out a minute so it's like it's like a one second two seconds so you probably hit her on the third second and even then by the time you can just you, I, I feel like you just sidestep and then just catch up so you might have to like 
it'll delay the hit for like two seconds, I feel like. I'll put her in food. Yeah. Weeping Clown gets like appetizer because yeah. you can at least build distance. Professor. Useless. Actually useless. He can't use his ability. He, he can't use his ability because you need to look behind you for the swing, but you can't look behind you for the swing. Yeah. He, he just he just has to he just has to like rely on sound effects. Anti, anti gets high appetizer. It's crazy to say that. You would think she'd be better, but what does her ability rely on? <laughs> The only saving grace is that even if she gets corrosion, the hunter won't be able to swing. That's her saving grace. Yeah, at, uh, okay, honestly, high key with Antiquarian, like, you're gonna have to, you get scared for the first thing, right? You just swing two more times and you just pray and, like, not look at the hunter's face, I guess. Oh, gosh, dude. Journalist, I think Journalist is good at snack. The clones now, and her, her ability to rescue without needing to be physically there is gonna be... So much more of a necessity now it's insane yeah no yeah journalist is gonna be so nice especially since ivy does need to like basic hit exactly like her ability like to force rescue like she's at, i swear to god journalist has actually like gone so far up in tier list for me because of this hunter now yeah plus plus she's getting that other buff too where she can have four containment legends pick up a different item as well oh like it's so good your leader your leader barely hits appetizer yeah, at least she can get a little bit of distance and then potentially use that. Uh, Aeroplanus is still not bad. It's I, still I not put, bad, yeah, yeah, he's in snack, at least, because he can it's just snack. hover ho hover or just use his jetpacks. Nobody's in starvation tier, though. That's the thing. No one, no one is in star. No, no survivor is good enough to be considered in star. Like, not, not until we actually see, like, every interaction... Will we be able to like plausible? Maybe this is subject to change. Yeah. Yeah, because again, we don't know every interaction, right? Like we don't know. Like Thief could honestly like be dummy broken against her, like de depending on if he takes first chase. But even then, at that point, you just don't chase the thief. Just don't chase him and force him to like rescue instead. So like even then, <laughs> you can only pick one thief. Oh. So even if he is good, we're about we're about to start the seeing thief. thief explorer like priestess embalmer oh, round ones. <laughs> No, for real. Like it's crazy. Oh gosh, it's it's so sad for like the characters. It's like you look at the hunter to get your ability, like see her in novelist. Like, what are they supposed to do now? Like, come on. I, I guess. Ah, <sighs> that's. And look at all the survivors that you would think would be like B or C tier, or like even like like low A tier compared to what people thought were. Even for me on S tiers, I had lawyer on s tier for my tier list i had novelist and high a for my tier list officer s tier and anti Acrobat, even anti bro even anti s tier bro best survivor in the game yep. and the only three that i think would be the most consistent options are just an Elmer graven priestess exactly I, I like barmaid mage and ento like these are the big six right now bro actually best against ivy it's crazy but this is subject to change so i don't know i just I don't know why they buffed her. I'm hoping, like, I, I would just see cooldowns. I need to see cooldowns or something, too. I'm, I'm to this day trying to find out why she was buffed. Like, actually, like, I'm still pondering the earth right now to find out. Thank goodness she's not allowed in Koa, like, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Koa 8 is going to be a pain in... Koa 8 is going to be a pain in the ass. We're probably going to have one or two more hunters before Koa 8 even then. If we see this hunter only, though, like, when, when did Opera come out? She was, like, what? May last year? June of last year. June of last year. Dang. Can you believe that? June of last year. If you already like. If this if this freaking Ivy Hunter becomes the best and she's like still the best by Koa 8, that's gonna be rough. Oh, they have to nerf her. They have to nerf her. Like I don't I don't know how they can look at the footage that we that I just witnessed and like Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. They said survivor sided game? You guys said survivor sided game? Hold up. <laughs> And what's crazy is that some of the people over there and like in some of the Asian servers are saying that they think that she's weak. Really? Yes. I mean, at low level, like maybe. Maybe at like yeah, but like weak. Because like the the worker bees don't look behind them, so maybe at low level. And like they haven't like they don't know how to use the the yith properly, so maybe. But like, I feel I feel like this is just gonna be like another. By the time you hit mid tier, it's like people know what they're doing. So now it's just death, like no matter what. Exactly. I don't know, man. All I'm saying is wait, wait for DX to get his hands on this hunter, bro. 
Oh my god. Wait, wait for gosh. wait, wait, wait for DX to get his hands on this hunter. He's about to discover some crazy stuff. You already know. Well, um, I think I'm gonna call uh, my video here at least. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks to Zeus for uh, for coming on. It was fun as well. Um, Ivy's scary, bro. She's she's terrifying. I, mean, I don't know what to. I don't know what to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this might single-handedly ruin the game. Yeah, unless unless we see unless we see those cooldowns or those nerfs or something like. Please, bro. That that just looks crazy. I'm happy I'm a melee main because at least I might be able to do something about it. But uh, good luck to all my fellow decoder mates out there. Who play like. Good luck, good, good. Listen, bro. I better not see any more prisoners in my match. Bro. Oh my gosh, bro, Luca, it's over for him. Yeah, go ahead and use that stun, bro. <laughs> Imagine they scare yeah, the stun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be so funny, dude. That'd actually be so funny. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.